The streets of Belfast are quiet, peaceful, anticipating, waiting, waiting for what, you ask? For the first burst of colour of flowers in the spring, the blossom of the trees, that circle of life beginning again. As spring turns into summer, the city bursts into life, street theatre, comedy shows, dancers and buskers all around. Oohs, as cheers and laughter fill the air. People sitting in the sun at City Hall or outside coffee shops, chatting happily, enjoying the sun. Slowly the weather cools, the leaves on the trees turn amber, gold and brown. Coats on, children laughing and playing in the park, feeding the ducks and swans, innocence and wonder on beaming faces as they throw the pieces of bread. Winds slowly turn cold as the leaves fall, winter sliding its insidious chill fingers into the shortening days. The streets of Belfast are quiet, peaceful and anticipating. I believe in looking outside the box. Um, and yeah, and I think that I did look outside the box. Um, it's something that I was taught a long time ago when I, in, in therapy. Um, I know it's my choice, but the idea was always to look at the box, what can I get differently? And I, in, in that photograph, I've got what I, what can I get differently? You know, it's, um, to begin with, it just looks like a, a photograph of a rabbit. Um, but yeah, there's other things that, that, that's there. Hello, my name is Chrissy Jolin. I'm from Inniskillen and uh, I did the camera course with Kelly, which I really enjoyed. I thought was, she was great, a great inspiration to us all. But anyway, she gave it, we got cameras. I didn't know the first thing about taking the photographs. And it was black and white, so we couldn't say what we were taking. And we tried to listen to what she was telling us. And we ended up with lovely photographs, I'm glad to say. So this one here, I should taken because I'm li I lived on a farm and it was always up early in the morning so this was coming the end of October um, no the uh, the end of October or maybe the beginning of November when the lights was changed you know, the morning light was changed a wee bit so it wasn't daylight at this time and that was when the sun was coming up on a bright morning and the sky I looked out through the living win window and the sky had all these different colours coming up behind the bushes which the sun hadn't appeared up yet and there was all the different colours, the rainbow and everything. But there's such a short space of time to take a photograph, maybe 15 minutes or less. So I rushed and got the camera and out down the lane a wee bit and I paused to get it in behind the bushes. So this is what I'm left with now. So I'm pleased, I'm pleased with this photograph and I was pleased with all the camera, all the course and the experience we learned from one another, not knowing each other before this happened. So thank you. My life has been a turbulent ride, plenty of twists and turns, much like the barbed wire fence, some memorable, some not. My health has suffered terribly, but I am still here at present, 2022. The orange and autumn colours of the tree has lost all its leaves and is standing like a skeleton bear. I love nature and my dog Susie Jezebella. She inspires me a lot, constantly on my case to interact with her. I calm her down with a rodeo chew which Susie smokes like a cigar, like Winston Churchill. The love of my life. <laughs> I can't the love of my life. He always lies on his back and he just, he's always looking at you and he, 
it's just he's so lovely and then he puts, puts his wee paws out and he stretches and he brings them back in you know as if he's waving at me or trying to give me a wee hug or something and I thought oh no that's just a nice photo <laughs> if I'm down the room he's down the room if I'm up in the kitchen he's up in the kitchen yeah. and Peter says that cat's after you like a sticky plasma see even when I was sick that cat I lost me all my hair mm -hmm. right when I was well and that cat didn't know me and he looked at me and he kept staring at the top of my head and I said Joey it's all right it's me and he kept and he lay up on top of me and he never left me and when I was in bed I was in bed and I couldn't get out of bed and he was up and he was laying on top of me you know he they just know. helped me through like. It is the day after Boxing Day and the smell of Christmas still lingers in the air. It is a damp day, but in my heart is a growing warmth, as today I have purpose. On this occasion, my purpose is practical, to give life to a dead car battery. But it's more than this to me. It is about the close connection to family and the joy of being needed. Inside the house, my grandsons explore their recent Christmas presents and I will spend time with them when my task is done. Outside, my son and his wife are all action as we hook up the battery leads to begin the process. From a distance, it is not obvious which car gives and which receives the charge. And I consider that this is how a family works. The line between giver and receiver is blurred as both sides benefit. And although my little birds have flown their nest, I am still very much part of their world. Recently, I have moved back to my childhood bedroom. Doing this particular task given to our group was definitely a reminder of just how much I have grown and how strong I have become. This self-portrait using light and shadows was drawn from a video that Kelly shared with us of photographer Vivian Maher. There I am holding a heart which to me represents being kind to yourself and crying for yourself first. I want other women to know that no matter what you're going through, believe in yourself and be kind to yourself. There are other women out there that will always support you. I just took it on a whim. I just went out for a walk with the camera. And there's different, like even walking through the wee, like a wee lane, and there's a lot of crispy leaves. And it's just, you feel like you're in another, you're in another place. Everything else is forgotten about. You're in that place at that moment. And, it just inspired me then when I wrote about it. And now when I see the photograph, it really comes to life. It was a nice sunshine winter's morning. I decided to take a short walk. So out the door I had it. Wasn't long till you appeared in front of me, still walking along and up the hill. You were then beside me. Came across a lovely pathway with a river and some trees. You walked between the trees, and as I stopped to look at the ducks in the river, you were gone. But as I began to walk again, you popped out from the trees and were beside me again. So heading back down the road, nearly home, I stopped and seen you from head to toe. I gave you a wave and you waved back to me. That's the story of me and my shadow. A click in time. I've just acquired a camera and colours also true. A magic open sesame to take great fiestas new. So with my trusty camera, a wonderful world I see. My store of scenes to treasure and all is heavenly.